हेलो टीम वेलकम टू माय सेशन ऑन कॉफी विद प्रब एंड टुडे वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट टू ऑफ माय डोमेन वन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन कॉमशिया सिक्योरिटी प्लस थैंक यू फॉर शेयरिंग द ग्रेट रिस्पांस ऑन माय पार्ट वन ऑफ द वीडियो व्हिच मोटिवेट मी टू मेक द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कंट्रोल टाइप्स एंड कैटेगरी एंड अलॉन्ग विद दैट वी ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द स्नैक्स इफ यू न्यू टू द चैनल टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन द बेलाइकन टू मेक श्योर यू शुड नॉट मिस माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज ऑन अ सिमिलर टॉपिक and if you want to know more about me do check my linkedin profile so without wasting a time let's start with the first part thank you okay so let's start with the first coffee shot which type of access control or which type of control focuses on oversight of information system and is primarily documented in the organization information security policy to manage the risk it's a combination actually because say which type of control focus on oversight of information system not within a system okay oversight of information system and primarily documented in the organization security policy to manager is so keyword is organization security policy and manager is so option a technical control see technical control is basically called as a control such as hardware software and firmware which is used to reduce the risk let's take example we have a system a okay so we have a system a now when you talking about this particular system in that we install the antivirus let's take example we have a antivirus so antivirus basically installed which protect the system from virus so there is a technical function which try to protect my system now we install the firewall firewall is also technical in nature because any packet is coming to the firewall firewall is basically inspect the packet and block so it is not a human is basically there so technical control something is technical in nature which try to block technically second is basically called as an operational control operation control ensure the day to day operation of organization to comply with the security policy and third is basically called as a managerial control managerial controls are the control set by the management it is primarily administrative in the nature which is always set by the management and all that okay so example like um chain management and all that so that is basically part of a administrative control risk management and all that and last is called physical control something is implemented by physically to stop physical so example like we hiring a security guard which stop the physically external users to join access the facility or preventing the unauthorized person to access the facility or we install the locks we lock the door prevent physically so that's called physical control so question talking about oversight information system not something is technical which monitoring information system oversight information system and also document in the security policy which is strategic in nature so a is removed d is removed b and c b is more like an operation nature and c is something management nature that's why the answer is managerial control let's move to the next coffee shot thank you oh wait team before going for the second coffee i want you to have some snacks you know without snack how can you enjoy the coffee so this is the summary we have if you can see that technical control like we have a data encryption firewall intrusion detection system so these are something technical in nature which block technical like data encryption it encrypt the data it is not a human who protecting the encryption this is a tool is in place which encrypt the data operational control is basically something in day to day activity like uh, access control chain management procedure security awareness training which is part of an operational activity management controls or managerial control like management set the policy for everyone risk assessment is there incident response plan is there let's say example tomorrow management has sent an email to everyone from tomorrow social media is block so it's a instruction like a managerial control or uh, but same control okay implement of the firewall it's become a technical control then you, you you'll not able to browse those pages or from tomorrow the management has announced that okay we will have a work from office so it's a instruction given by the management to manage the everything so it's like a law of the company on physical control something like security cameras that you install physically to check what is happening installing a lock to prevent unauthorized physical user to access the facility access badge punch and card so that is basically the example of the physical control let's move to the next co coffee shot okay so very good co question which type of control so let me bring uh, one which type of control is 
primarily implemented through the adherence to procedures and policy makes sense user training day to day management practice align with the organization operation with security policy so so many hints are there but it's saying that which type of control is primarily implemented through adherence to procedure and policy user training is there day to day operation is there okay so we are introducing the day to day operation for the operation level and we have doing this because we want to align with the security policy which is part of a managerial control so option a managerial control we automatically eliminating because question not saying that okay they implementing policy they implementing a procedures policy user training so they can comply with the policy okay so here we have a people we have a process and we have a technology so we want to make them to comply with the policy so this policy is actually set by the senior management which is part of a managerial control so we are introducing a procedures we are introducing the awareness training okay so all these are basically part of the function so a is removed b is technical control something you implement technically but in the entire question is not talking about anything technical c makes sense because d does not make sense because question is not talking about physical something so that is the reason answer is basically c for charlie let's move to the but before that let me select that okay so let's move to the next coffee shot thank you another interesting question your company is deploying a new web application that handle the sensitive customer data to protect this data from potential cyber attack you decided to implement a series of security measure before the application goes live which type of control is specifically aim at eliminating or reducing the likelihood that attack on the web application can be succeed it mean we talking about which kind of a control you are introducing by which you can able to reduce the likelihood of, of the attack to be succeed option a detective control but detective control something you detect and this is an come 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 into the picture if there is a failure of preventive control example like if someone hack into the firewall and then it record in the log so detective control is all about detecting the incident corrective control come into the picture once the incident occur we repair that example system was infected with the virus okay so let's say example this is my system which is basically infected with the virus okay now next thing is that we isolate a system from the network so that it can able to perform perform the further we can able to reduce the further impact so that is why b is removed c is a preventative control because we are introducing a primary control to prevent the user from accessing anything but directive control is basically more about giving instructions directions and everything from the question perspective look like the answer will be preventive control because primary role of this control is to prevent unauthorized access okay so to understand more in detail i have a one diagram which i use in my previous video see this is how the sequence of the control work okay so we have a first control which is a directive control directive control is something you giving an instruction you giving a guideline to everyone example like when you come to the facility you can see who are vaccinated move to left side and who are basically non vaccinated move to right side so there is a physical board was installed giving a direction so it become a physical directive because in the previous coffee shop we discuss about physical control we discuss about technical control we discuss about operation control but how you implement these are implemented with the help of this control category only okay so now what happen is uh, when you log in to any monit uh, any system you can see this system is monitoring by the soc team so it's a instruction that's a directive control okay so directive is something giving a instruction that is why it is used in a planning and it can able to handle the low level threat now fun control which is missing here is which is called as a deterrent because we don't implement a deterrent as a control okay deterrent control okay let me write down deterrent deterrent control okay we don't install any deterrent as a control example you go to your friend house and you can see outside the dog outside of the gate it is mentioned beware of dog so it was like a directive but for me kind of person who have a fear of dog it is a warning or you go to the bank it is mentioned you are under cctv camera it is not a warning it is a directions that okay without your notification if doing a monitoring it is called as a spy that is why they call this as a directive control okay so now company has a policy no one supposed to browse social media 9 to 5 it's a instruction it's a directive control but we cannot trust still some people try to open the website so here what happen there's a user 
okay he tried to open the website which is called facebook example but there is a dlp in place there's a proxy in place which tried to block so that is called as a preventive control okay but what happened is user is disconnecting from the network he trying to connect the dongle and through that he tried to access the internet because of the dlp is there which prevent him to run that particular application so that has become a compensating so compensating we basically use in that case when your primary control is not strong enough to block same like your vpn when you're connecting with the with the, with the help of vpn to your enterprise you enter the password but you know the password can be hacked that's why the compensatory control you are using is rse token but if the incident is basically trigger we have a detective control which detect your activity and next is basically called as a corrective control corrective control is basically perform the temporary activity actually in comsia corrective and recovery they merge as a one okay your system is infected with the virus so there's a lock detect the virus so corrective action is isolate a system and do the clean installation so thin line difference between corrective control and preventive control preventive control is work like a safeguard whereas a corrective control is basically work like a countermeasure is it clear so let me give one best example company has a policy no one supposed to browse social media 9 to 5 so that is a directive control but still the user try to open so we have add warning into that message like if we find anyone browsing social media without any reason we will terminate the person so that become a deterrence control then we basically introduce the preventive control preventive control what it does is it basically install the proxies and all that which prevent the user from opening a site but still the user is very intelligent that is why we install the and point dlp on the systems till that time the policy was not breached but by hook and crook he was able to open the site so there is a sim which basically record his activity and then we have a corrective control which basically rectify that we have isolate a system we have terminate the candidate and recovery is basically clean installation and restore the system back to the production but as i said in comsia corrective and recovery is basically as a one so to understand more in detail i have a example here so here you can see preventive control is access control okay ultimate goal is to prevent security incident from occurring in the first place second is basically called as a detective control like ids is there log monitoring is there sim is there ultimate goal is to detect the security incident corrective control incident response we have if any incident occur we can able to correct that so return to the normal operation deterrent is basically giving the warning compensating can be defense in depth defense in depth mean we have a layer of control if one layer is basically down we have another layer to block that which also used to mitigate like installing alternative controls and directive controls like security policies acceptable use policy which giving the instruction hope you understand this particular topic well okay after noticing the irregularities in the network traffic your it team decide to review system logs to identify any unauthorized access attempts so if you remember this keyword here is they talking about unauthorized access attempts okay by analyzing these logs the team aim to understand the tactics used by the potential attacker this approach is example of what so in the entire question they talking about that uh, you know there was a attempt already done and they want to investigate option a detective control definitely because firewall logs ids logs sim basically help you to discover the tactics what is the tactics has been used by the attacker corrective control is basically we reduce the impact but question was not talking about corrective control question say that they have identify a unauthorized access attempt and they want to investigate preventive control is basically come before incident directive is giving instruction so only option which is very close here is a for alpha that is where the answer is detective control let's move to the next coffee shot thank you another interesting question following a ransomware attack that encrypted several critical files your organization implemented a strategy to decrypt the affected files and remove the malware and restore data from the backup this strategy is a best describe what type of control see ransomware attack it mean it already incident occur so there is a failure of preventive control and we got this visibility so detective control is already done now they're looking for to decrypt the files and remove the malware which is more like a countermeasure so option a detective control they have discover but the question is not talking about discover here option b corrective where we repair definitely c is basically more from a preventative part 
but there, this is incident is already occur and directive is basically giving a statement so the close answer is basically b for beta because corrective control the incidents already occur we have to repair the impact that is where the answer is b okay so next coffee shot your company has just updated its security policy to include mandatory security awareness training for all the new employees outlining the procedure for handling a sensitive data and responding to phishing attempts this policy update is example of which type of control now in this question they're talking about giving instructions and all that okay because it's in a company has just update security policy include mandatory awareness training so it's a directive right to all the employees and they also talk about how to handle sensitive data and all that so which kind of a control is that a detective control definitely it's not because detective control talk about detecting the incident b is a corrective this is come into the picture once the incident occur and we need to respond to that question is not talking about post recovery like in the previous question we discuss here the file was decrypting and we removing the malware because that is a corrective right so question is not talking about anything about okay incidents occur you repairing the things preventive control prevent an action question is not talking about something as a control they are introducing but question say instruction so answer is basically d for delta directive control okay so if i go back to same diagram here this one everyone who creating a policy policy directive control following that if you add warning to that it become a deterrent then preventive control is basically prevent a user from accessing compensating control we basically introduce via your primary preventative control is not effective but after that if incidents occur we have a detective control then we have a correct control and we have a recovery so corrective and recovery is a combination like if system was infected with the virus already isolate a system do the clean installation and restore the system back to the production that is called as a corrective control so this is all from my side in this particular session do let me know in the comment box how do you find this particular session i'm waiting for your feedback which help me to improve my video more better good day bye